and it's God, but I believe that God is everywhere. God is everywhere. God is with you. If you are Muslim, it's with you and with me together. That's what I, I are you Are you referring that God's help is everywhere? Are you God, referring? Yes. Yeah, He's okay. everywhere. He's mm. between us humans. Mm -hmm. You don't need to believe in a certain religion. I mean, I understand. God with you. Do you know what I mean? I understand in a purpose of God is helping you with oxygen, with this life. No, no, with understanding. With, we are humans and that's why God is with us. That's what I believe. God is everywhere. Yeah, what we believe is God is with us through yes. knowledge yes. and He is continuously supplying yes. and Allah is the creator we are saying is helping human beings to survive, sustaining, providing. Yes. So God is with us through the provision, support and all of these things, yes. right? Yes. Now, question is, God physically not here? No. No, that's, okay. So in Islam we believe the creator is one. It's not three in one. It's not two in one or it's not five in one. Yeah. So we, we don't worship any man, yeah. human, statues, women, nobody. Yeah. This is the only religion yeah. which strictly worship the creator, not the creation. That makes a distinction between all other religions. So in Islam, we, we believe yeah. not there can be only one truth. Why? Because if we look at how this religion define themselves like yeah. for example if you look at islam yeah. it will make sense god is one yeah. because this knowledge is god instilled with you with your reason but if someone say oh that stone is helping god you would say how can a stone can help god because stone is created and god is uncreated so what we say is god endowed with you reason means he given you reason why so that you can apply in your daily life Along with that, you can also apply with this same rational reasoning to know who created you. So if we look at ourselves, we know there is a maker. And we know that for sure that human beings, statues, stones, snake, whatever we see, these are creation. These are things created just like us. So they can't be our creator. So therefore, you can happily reject all of the religion you say I, I agree all this religion is true yeah. I can respect them their belief yes. that's different thing yeah. but when I follow something yeah. it must be based on my conviction and that conviction must be with the reason reason and the evidence so if I say something I need to backed up by evidences and then we'll say okay fair call yeah. so Islam God created the humankind and he is telling, defining our purpose. Yeah. Why he is defining our purpose? Because he created you. Yeah. That's why what I should do and what I shouldn't do, this is not my choice. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is the choice of who? The one who made. The one who made, he is telling us yeah. through books and through messenger that this life is a test. And Allah said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ I have not created jinn kind or mankind other than to worship me. Means, you know those blessings you have in your life? Yeah. Oxygen. Yeah. Life, your be beautiful yeah. life, your family, all of these things are blessing. And a greatest gift. Yeah. Your eyesight is a greatest gift. All of them, yeah. you cannot exchange with the money is beyond money now for these we are not paying back anything to God now as a reasonable human being I would say I would like to thank whoever given that to me and that thank should be based on how that being wanted my worship so therefore we say if we don't worship God Allah it will not harm or increase or decrease God but it will make you either grateful if you worship. If you don't worship, it will make you ungrateful. And Allah is saying two root. So one root for grateful people, those who obey Allah's command, follow His command and do good and stay away from the evil works. Allah said, I leave, I prepared paradise for them. Another root God is telling that those who disbelieve, reject 
shows ungratefulness, don't show gratitude, do evil act, they are the eternal suffering. Islamic message, and then Allah sent all these messenger, Adam, Abraham, Noah, Jesus, Jonah, Isaiah, all of them yeah. came with one message. Oh people, do not worship man, do not worship statues, do not worship anything other than the God in the heavens. And that is the true submission. Imagine, just think about, you take all this gratitude from who? The Creator. Now, if you give the thanks to a man who himself receiving that from God, the problem is bigger. Why? Firstly, you take in the rights of God. Secondly, you are giving the thanks to someone who doesn't deserve. And that we call it shirk the biggest sin anyone can make. And that's why we say that Islam, there can't be multiple truth. There's only one truth. And Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God. God sent him to show people what they should do. How should I behave? What is, who is God is? What God want from us? These are the question I and you cannot figure out by ourselves. God needs to send a communication. Now the best method God chosen is to send messenger. If God didn't send angel, yeah? Because if angel would say, come to us, human would say, look, angel can perform, but I can't perform. We'll have an excuse. So God knows ourselves. He knows ourselves because he's our maker. So his divine will is to send a human messenger. Why? He will be showing through example so that we don't have an excuse on the day of judgment. So in Islam we believe, we have, we believe in Allah. Stop me where it doesn't make sense. We believe in angel. Those angels are not part of God. They are creation of God. Right? Like angel Gabriel. Yes, we believe. Yes, yes. But these angels has different tasks. One of the tasks is bringing revelation. You know, when Moses re received the revelation, Abraham received the revelation. These are the revelation from angels. From angel. Allah's, uh, okay. Then when our soul comes to our mother's womb, that soul carried by angel. When we die, our soul carried by angels. You know, with the rain and all these tasks in the universe, right? Yeah. Allah appointed angel with the rain, okay. life, and all of these things. Okay. Allah appointed angels to perform this task. Then we believe in the books. Uh -huh. In Allah sent books to communities. Yeah. Why? So that community can follow a guideline. Everything in our life, we follow a guideline. Yeah, Look, yeah. traffic light guideline, yeah. right? Bus is a guideline, speed limit is a guideline. Yeah. yeah, even office, you cannot wear just whatever you wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will follow a certain dress code, it's a guideline. So our real life also need a guideline. How should we live our life? How should we use our head, brain, and everything has been explained. Yeah. So then that books will contain all those information, but books cannot teach itself unless God send a messenger like us, so we'll show it practically so that we will say, oh, this is what it means. Otherwise, we could have, you know, um, take a miscontext or take out of the context and utilize in a wrong way. Then there is another belief that this life, after this life, we will go to the grave and one day this world will perish and everybody will die and Allah will resurrect everybody, physically resurrect everybody. And there will be a day of judgment where everybody will be judged. Yeah. And God will make sure everything is accounted. Even, even atom amounts of good you do, it will be counted. Atom amounts of bad, it will be counted too. And Allah said, Allah does not impose any injustice. Means he will not do any wrong with you. And after this year after, then we believe in the divine predestination. Means 
whatever happens, this is the will of Allah and knowledge of Allah. Means God knows everything. He chose a lot of things for us, but He gives some free will, limited free will, so that we can make this choice and our choice has a consequences. If you do good, you will earn reward. If you do commit evil excess, evil thing, that will be punishment. Now, reward or punishment is for absolute justice. There must be a hereafter. Why? Because this world will not have a justice. Imagine you prayed, worship, and you do good things for the community of the world. You've done so much sacrifice. But you did not reward it for all the things you have done. And likewise, the criminals killing millions, but they're getting away with because one shot that God died. So the, every soul will receive his absolute justice. Even those who go to hellfire, Allah will ask them, is there any injustice done to you? Even they will say no. This is what called, and Allah said, he is the source of justice. And Allah instructing, Allah said, Inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan. Allah instruct you to do just. And the Quran is full of just. Allah saying, my just, mercy, these are the key attributes of God. Now, and then, once you believe those, you have five pillars. So I've explained to you six articles of faith. And then five pillars is you become a Muslim by uttering two statements that God is alone and he is alone worthy of worship and Muhammad is the final, last and final messenger and acknowledge that Abraham, Noah, Jesus, Moses and, and up until Muhammad, all of them are the messenger of God. Once you say, then you become a Muslim. Then your task started. Five daily prayers. These are not payment. These are the showing gratitude to God. Even if you whole of your life you pray, pray and worship God, you will not be able to repay the one eyesight. Right? Then you have zakat, we call it. You give 2.5% of your excessive wealth to the poor the need is and there are categories you can distribute to, to those category of people they are less privileged people now imagine if all of the people in the world start giving 2.5 percent of their excessive wealth there will be no hunger look at the divine justice of god allah is telling don't be greedy allah is testing you by giving you extra Right? Okay, and the fifth, what is the fifth pillar? Sorry, the fourth pillar is the fasting. Oh, fasting. Fasting, okay. which is 30 days in the month of Ramadan. Right. Which Jesus also performed. He also, you know, given zakat also. Jesus also given zakat. Yeah. Quran said that Jesus also performed zakat. And we also find Bible that Jesus also praying to God. Okay. If he is God, God cannot pray to God. Yeah. Yeah. Only creation pray to God. Right? Very simple. Yeah. And then the final pillar is Hajj, which is pilgrimage once in a lifetime. With condition that if you have the ability, yeah. physically, because it's a physical journey, you need to travel. And then you have the means, means you have the money to go. Once you fill that condition, you, you need to perform Hajj once in a lifetime, which at the moment happening. At the moment, Hajj is happening. It's taking place in Mecca. You know the black house, this was made by, first made by Adam, first man, and then it was rebuilt by Abraham. So all those prophets and messengers, so we don't pray to this black box. We pray towards that. It's a signification of unity, of praying the direction to the Mecca. So this is all in a nutshell. And once you follow this, you will attain the mercy of God and through the mercy you will go to paradise. What would you say? Does it make sense to you? It makes sense the way you tell it. Why don't you accept that? It makes 
sense the way you tell it. But I am telling you, but <laughs> now I am inviting you to Islam. Do you know what is invitation? Yeah. Invitation means mm -hmm. you come to Islam yeah. as a sister in humanity. I am inviting because it's important to make an invitation. You are not inviting to my home or any Muslim's home. You are inviting to the Creator. Allah said in the Quran, Allah said, He will not punish until the message is clear to that person. So Allah said, Muhammad sent as a messenger. Allah said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَفَّةً لِلنَّاسِ Allah said, Muhammad, as a witness, peace be upon him, as a witness for mankind. Why? When you know Muhammad, peace be upon him, send as a messenger. When I say messenger, he must carry a message. And his message was what? From God, not from him. And if God send a messenger, and if me and we reject, that is not a, refute, uh, not, uh, not a message we should deny. Because it's a serious message. Because that is from the from the ultimate creator of everything. So I ask you, sister, to join into the fold of Islam. Do you know why? Because Allah tells us there are consequences of the decision we have. We have heaven and hellfire. I hear what you're saying. And then, and I would you would you say would you? Telling me yeah. You yeah. Um, what What's your so far? What's your take? Is that something? Um, it has many good points of what you're saying. Yes. It has many good points. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why my sister, it's very important. The moment the iman, if it is makes sense, look, yeah. everything you do is based on you. Whenever it makes sense. Yeah. Now, if you, if you want to reject Islam, you have to fight with your reason. Because that is Allah created you, given you endowed with this reason to understand the same message. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. But if you reject, you will have to fight with this innate being. And Allah said, Allah will, you know, Allah in the day of judgment, our bodies will testify against us, you know that. Our bodies will speak. Allah will give the ability. And that body at the moment we have, it is under our control. But one day it will go against and it will testify to Allah that how we misuse it. You have, and I let me give you a copy of Quran. Give me one second. Brother, I need a copy of the Quran. So this is the Quran, yeah? This is the translation, you know? Oh, yes. Is it in English? It yeah? is in English, yeah? Okay. So, wherever you start, you will find that who is talking to you. Yeah. So, the message is very simple because sometimes you see people writing stories. Uh, sometimes you feel the book is talking to you directly. So, for example, whenever you open, it will find two directions. One yeah. direction is you will find someone is talking with authority and the second thing you will realize is talking to me and that's how the god's book simply simply resonate with human beings mind because you can connect that book why because the book whoever sent that book yeah. and whoever created you are the same thing that's why you will resonate look after yourself my sister you are welcome here anytime if you have any questions look after yourself thank you